Hi everyone. Today I am going to start a new series on remedial mathematics. By remedial mathematics I mean the fundamental topics of mathematics which we use in all the different branches, be it engineering or sciences like physics or economics or management courses, whatever. So the idea is to clarify the basics and for many a quick brush up of all important concepts which you may require for different courses. It is to give you a strong foundation and a good base. Many a times it is assumed that you already know a lot of things and they are never taught in the class. So here I would be covering around 16 to 17 topics starting with the numbers and real line, then we'll move on to inequalities, progression, permutation and combination, binomial theorem, vectors in plane and space, matrices, determinants, set theory, trigonometry, relations and functions, limits and continuity, differentiation, integration, coordinate geometry and conics, differential equations and probability. This might seem quite overwhelming looking at so many topics, but you need not worry. We would be going on a very slow pace and we will be doing mostly the concepts, the important concepts. So, let's start with the first topic, numbers and the real line. Now, numbers play a very important role in mathematics. In our daily life, we come across a lot of numbers. What are these different types of numbers? The first type of number which you come across are natural numbers. So, what are natural numbers? They are also called counting numbers. And these numbers we use for counting things like 1, 2, 3, going up to infinity. These numbers are used on a daily basis. The next type of numbers which we use are whole numbers. Now what are whole numbers? If we add a zero to our natural numbers, we will get whole numbers. So, the whole numbers are nothing but when 0 is added to our natural numbers. The third type of numbers which we come across are integers. Now, what are integers? Let's take negative of all these natural numbers and our 0 is also taken. So, we'll, let's say, start with minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and go up to infinity on the right, and on the left up to minus infinity. Then these numbers are known as integers. So, see, they are, they are all whole numbers, right? And here we have negative of them. Together they can be written in a combined form as 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 back to back, going up to plus minus infinity. Now these numbers play a very important role in courses like number theory where we the elementary number theory deals with only integers. The next type of numbers which we come across are rational numbers. Now what are rational numbers? Rational numbers are of the type A by B where A and B are integers and there is a condition B should never be 0. Because if we take the denominator to be 0, then the number would not be defined. What are the examples of these rational numbers? Now see, rational numbers are of the type 1, 2, minus 1, 
वन बाय टू वन बाय थ्री थ्री बाय फोर ऑल दीज आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ रैशनल नंबर्स वाई डू वी से दैट वन टू माइनस वन ऑल दीज आर ऑल्सो रैशनल नंबर्स बिकॉज सी वन कैन बी रिटन एस वन बाय वन टू कैन बी रिटन एस टू बाय वन माइनस वन कैन बी रिटन एस माइनस वन बाय वन नाउ हियर both numerator and denominator are integers in each case here also here also same is the case with half 1 by 3 and 3 by 4 both numerator and denominator the integers and denominator is not zero these rational numbers are of two types one is terminating and the other is non terminating so what are terminating rational numbers numbers of the type half 3 by 4 i'll just explain why they are terminating and non terminating types what are non terminating types non terminating are of the type 1 by 6 etc Now see why do we call half to be a terminating rational number? We also call them terminating decimals. Why? Because when we talk of half, half means I'm dividing one by two. When we divide half by one by by two, we get zero point five. Now you see five ends with a zero. There is nothing after five, so we say it is terminating. Half is terminating. Take the case of three by four. Three by four is zero point seven five. We have divided three by four, and that gives us zero point seven five. So now we have only zeros after five. See, so we say that this is also terminating. Take the case of one by three. In case of one by three, we get zero point three 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 three. It goes on. It is not ending, or you can say it is not terminating with a zero. So this is called I'll write as non-terminating. And half and three by four are terminating decimals. Here, point three 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 three. Can also be written as zero point three, and as three is repeating, we put a bar on that. So if we have a number like this, zero point two three, and there is a bar, that would mean we have a number where two three is repeating again and again and again, and it goes on. We move on to the next type of number. irrational numbers so we come to irrational numbers what are irrational numbers rational numbers numbers which are not rational are irrational so we say that numbers which are not rational are irrational and what does that mean you said rational numbers are of the type a by b that is numbers which can be written as a fraction so if we cannot if we cannot write a number as a fraction it is irrational now let's take some examples Take root of two. Root of two, you know, is one point four one four two 
वन थ्री इट गोज ऑन एज इट्स आफ्टर थ्री और आफ्टर एनी डिजिट वी आर नॉट गेटिंग अ जीरो इट मीन्स इट इज नॉट एंडिंग इट इज गोइंग ऑन देर इज नो सेट पैटर्न ऑफ द डिजिट एंड इफ वी ट्राई टू राइट इट एज अ फ्रैक्शन पी बाई क्यू वी कैन नॉट राइट इट सो इट इज अ इेशनल नंबर ठीक द केस ऑफ पाई नाउ वी से दैट पाई इज ट्वेंटी टू बाय सेवन बट दैट इज नॉट करेक्ट ट्वेंटी टू बाय सेवन वेन वी डिवाइड गिफ्ट अस a number which is let's if we'll first write pi pi you know is 3.14287 it goes on so writing this as a fraction p by q is also not possible we say that pi is 22 by 7 but it is not equal it is approximately equal to that so whenever it is not possible to write any fraction or any decimal like root 2 pi as a quotient or as a fraction we say that the number is irrational the last type of number which you generally come across are real numbers so what are real numbers real numbers are nothing but rational numbers rational numbers and irrational numbers take it together taken together form the real numbers so the, when the word real numbers is used it is used for both irrational and rational numbers now we have been talking about numbers where do all these numbers lie so all these numbers lie on a line let's see that so if we have we'll call it the real line let's draw a straight line take some point and allot that a number 0 then we'll take some interval equal space is taken and we will just give them the numbers 1 2 3 4 like this on this side take minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 going up to minus infinity this goes up to infinity now let us see all these numbers you will see will lie here let's look at the natural numbers so 1 2 3 4 all of them counting numbers are on my line include 0 then all the whole numbers are here 0 1 2 3 4 they are all there check the integers so Zero, one, two, three, four, minus one, minus two, minus three. All integers are also on the line. Then come to fractions like half, the terminating decimals or the rational numbers. Half, as you know, half was nothing but zero point five. so half will lie midway between 0 and 1 half will lie here come to numbers like 3 by 4 now 3 by 4 is 0.75 0.75 will be somewhere here so this is 3 by 4 
come to numbers which are non terminating like 1 by 3 now it is not ending but the number is of course there on the real line somewhere from here to 0.5 so although it's non terminating it does exist and it would be lying somewhere here so 1 by 3 would be lying here now the question is where do numbers like root of 2 lie you know that root of 2 was nothing but 1.41 and it was not ending so is it easy to pinpoint where that number lies on the number line not by hand but as you know that number 2 root of 2 can be found when we take a unit square that is a square with side 1 and draw it diagonal now if you want to find the length of the diagonal it would be nothing but root of 1 square plus 1 square which gives us root of 2 so root of 2 does exist that number is there in reality now how do we identify that or mark that on the number line for that what we do we put our compass on our one edge of the square here and then measure the length from this point to this point now you've taken the compass put the compass here measure the length till here and then put your compass at this zero and draw the arc of the same length on our real line so that arc wherever it cuts gets us root of the length so this is how we find all our numbers on the real line whether it is natural number whole number everything lies on the real line so this is for a number line a quick recap what have you learned so far one thing that all the numbers whether it is natural number of the type 1 2 3 etc or the whole numbers of the type 0 1 2 3 2 they whether they are integers plus minus 1 plus minus 2 or they are rational numbers of the type half 1 by 3 3 by 4 etc or irrational numbers root 2 pi e they all lie on a line they all lie on a line and form the real line call the real line called the real line thank you for watching we will stop here and move on to the next article of intervals and inequalities for all other courses and for detailed explanation of the topics which i am teaching you can go to my website prof prithi bachve.com go to courses 
Under that, go to Remedial Mathematics. You will get all the topics there in detail with lot of practice problems with solutions. Thank you.